Aloha everyone and welcome back to the Leilani Estates Kilauea Eruption Update for July 2nd, 2018. In this update we're going to mix it up a little bit since there's really not uh, much change of any kind to actually report. Uh, dealing with the, uh, the fissure system, the channel, the ocean entry, etc. It's pretty much status quo uh, at this point. Um, it's doing the same thing that it was doing yesterday. So we'll go over the basics of what's happening really quick for our new viewers. Uh, fissure 8 is still active. It is currently 55 meters tall or 180 feet in height. Uh, the fountains rarely uh, reach the, the top of it. Uh, the lava is still flowing pretty adequately through the channel. It's still confined going out to the ocean and performing an ocean entry. Up at the Kilauea Volcano Summit, pretty much status quo there as well. We're, we're having collapse explosion events, uh, shooting plumes of ash a, a little distance up into the air, but not too high. Uh, of course, this is all preceded by a, uh, a storm of quakes, which result in the, the collapse and explosion event. And then the quakes, uh, or the seismicity, you know, drops to a lower point and slowly builds back over time, leading to another uh, collapse explosion event. This, of course, is being driven by the exit of the magma from the uh, reservoir chamber up at the summit uh, and infusing down into the uh, lower east rift zone, which, of course, is then erupting out of fissure 8 and flowing, of course, uh, through the channel all the way to the ocean. And finally, the EPA air quality monitoring sensor reading for Leilani Estate. The Kapono sensor uh, is currently down. However, the last reading was on July 2nd, 2018 at 6.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. And the readings for SO2 were 0 parts per million. And the reading for H2S was 0 parts per million. The uh, sensor up on 130 and... Uh, Leilani Avenue at uh, July 2nd, 2018 at 9.38 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. The SO2 reading was as well, zero parts per million, and the H2S, zero parts per million. Uh, so that does it for the basic update. Um, now let's move into uh, a little bit of how I'm going to you know, mix it up a little bit. We're, we're going to look at some videos uh, from the USGS and from the uh, Hawaii County Civil Defense. Uh, that, that's available in the public archives uh, that I've been, you know, looking at. And there's some uh, interesting things to point out, so we're, we're going to do that. It's going to be kind of like a, a show and tell, maybe. Okay, the first thing we're going to look at is the Lava World. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, it, it's a, a fascinating phenomena to, to have, you know, be able to witness. It's amazing. It's actually been captured on, on film. Basically, what's happening is that... Uh, the, uh, the the hotter air is able to punch through into cooler air, and this creates a you know a, an updraft and pulls wind in from all different directions, and uh, basically that can begin to rotate, and as it rotates, it's literally like a little tornado over the lava, and uh, it's just picking up lava out of the the, the lava river and and slinging it uh, all over the place. Uh, some of it's going up to you know meters uh, away. It's really really cool. What we're going to look at next is the lava channel from Fissure 8. Uh, if you look here, you'll see uh, that the lava is lower than the uh, top edge of the uh, levee. Um, so I would think that this means that the overall volume uh, of lava going down the channel uh, has perhaps decreased. Uh, or something that was blocking the channel from flowing more efficiently, you know, downstream uh, was cleared. So more, uh, so the flows increased, uh, not necessarily the volume being decreased. Um, I really don't know. I'm no professional on this one, but uh, I look at this as a positive sign, perhaps. Um, I don't know. Only time will tell. But it's pretty cool because it gives us definitely a, a contrast against the flowing lava and the, the, the levee system. Finally, we're going to look at the ocean entry area. If, if we take a look right here, this is the uh, area uh, of Champagne Pond uh, where the original, uh, it would be what, the north edge of the Kapoho, uh, Kapoho Bay uh, would have been. Um, if we take a, a look right here, uh, we see what looks like uh, a black sand beach 
uh, that has been formed. You know, whether it'll stick around or not, we don't know. But you can see how far up those waves are traveling, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, don't know if it'd be safe to swim, you know, if it still exists when this is all over or not. But uh, uh, definitely be cool to, to go take a look at. Um, however, it, it may not be there in a few days because I don't know if y'all have noticed, but uh, I did a video, um, oh, it's been weeks ago, I think now, where I showed some interesting little features that had been created uh, in the lava, uh, you know, as it entered the ocean. A little area that looked like a little protective cove that, that may have made a great little swimming hole. Uh, some ponds and stuff that have formed up on the uh, the, the upper edge, or excuse me, the upper surface of the lava, uh, and even a pretty long uh, black sand beach. Um, but as you can see in this video, uh, none of that is showing. Um, it's all, you know, already been erased, uh, covered up, you know, changed and altered, uh, which is what's really amazing about all this is because we will not know what we have until it's done that this period we, we can speculate we can guess we can we can you know do everything you know humanly possible to be creative and imaginative uh, but we will never really truly be able to say what we're gonna have until we, we have it it's one of those really cool things um, that I'm liking about this is, is every day you know I watch these videos and I see something different you know something something new it's like ooh, that that would be a cool little feature or ooh, that that's kind of interesting and then i'll see a video of the same area you know a few days later and it's gone oh and i just remembered i almost forgot to mention at the beginning of the video uh dealing with update information um it's been decided that starting tomorrow uh, morning at 8 a.m uh july 3rd 2018 that the uh highway 130 from the checkpoint at 132 uh, will be open all the way down to Kalapana uh, to the general public. All, all traffic will it will be open basically to all traffic, which uh, means that uh, some of the the business and and people can freely get down to a place down there. There's a, there's a place called Uncle Roberts um, down there that people like to go to on Wednesday nights, I believe it is. And a lot of people that normally would go there haven't been able to go because they they're not residents of this area. So they're not able to get through. Uh, so it's really nice that uh, the the CD has been you know working with the citizens and the general public and, and trying to provide these things, um, you know, or access back to some of these areas. Uh, but of course, you know, depending depending on what happens with the volcano, uh, anything can can change suddenly and unexpectedly. Uh, but let's hope that uh, that particular area 130 stays you know stable and, and unchanging, and you know allows. Um, you know that that business and traffic to, to be able to go back down to those areas because uh, it's a really cool place um maybe i'll have to go down there and uh show you what it's all about one day all right well that wraps it up for tonight uh remember to check me out on doinghawaii.smugmug.com and of course my my red bubble account where you can find uh uh, on Smug Mug, you can find uh, albums of all the, the the photos I've been taking of this event and, and a bunch of you know other things around Hawaii. Um, and on Smug Mug, or excuse me, on Red Bubble, of course, you can find a select you know set of photos that I, I've taken that are printed on uh, you know T-shirts, phone cases, you know pillows, uh, acrylic blocks. I mean, the, the the list is actually pretty amazing there. Uh, even just to to look at you know the things is pretty cool. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, oh, one more thing too. Um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the bell icon. You know, it's down there somewhere. You know, depending on whatever screen you're looking at, uh, that'll let you know uh, when I've posted a new video. Uh, and you'll you'll so you'll get a notification if you have notifications turned on. And uh, don't forget to like the video. That really helps me a lot. Uh, you know, it helps make the, the visibility of this video available to other people that may be searching for this type of content. Uh, so don't forget to hit the like button. You know, leave your comments. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Um, have any questions, of course, leave those as well. And, uh, well, I think that about does it. I, I covered everything. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget to share on your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever. I don't, I don't know about all that stuff. Uh, so wherever you like to share things, you know, don't forget to share. Uh, let, let's spread the information around. And and last, I want to say thank you to everyone that, that supported me on Smug Mug. 
and uh, my red bubble um i've gotten some feedback from y'all uh y'all seem to to love what, what y'all have ordered uh the, the printing seems to be great the quality of the the products seem to be fantastic i'm really happy to hear that uh, i was a little apprehensive you know about maybe the quality and i was really concerned that you know y'all wouldn't be getting you know good quality merchandise but uh, that doesn't seem to be the problem so once again thank you for that feedback i, I do greatly appreciate that Okay, everybody, that does it for tonight. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this has been the Leilani Estates update for July 2nd, 2018.